freedom is the highest of all natural law. Freedom to take or spare a life. This is just for kicks. The choice is free. Okay! What's up everybody? This is the game Virus, also known as the G Virus, and this right here, this is Let's Play Clock Tower 3 Blind. Oh, this game includes disturbing content and scenes of graphic violence. <laughs> Sounds like my kind of game. And of course, I'm still writing Capcom's balls. Alright. That seems a little out of place, kind of abstract. Produced by Capcom! Oh my god. Fast, I couldn't read it. Killer slays to Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Off to a good start, so far. I love that logo. Okay, the atmosphere is really kicking ass right now. And as I stated earlier, this is a blind let's play of Clock Tower 3. Never played it before. I bought this game from the Goodwill a long time ago, maybe a year and some change, a year and a half maybe even. And I am finally getting down to it. It has been backlogged for a while. And this is going to be a wonderful, wonderful Let's Play, hopefully. And uh, I played 10 minutes of it when I first got it. Literally nothing. And I don't remember anything about it. And uh, hopefully this game proves to be worth the, the three bucks I spent on it at the Goodwill, you know, hopefully. Okay, let me check out the case real quick. That music is just... That music is just going right now. Alright, let's check out the back. Let's see what we got here. I need some light, though. Alright. Clock Tower 3. Behind every shadow lie your darkest fears. Alyssa Hamilton, an ordinary girl with ordinary dreams, who was about to discover a side of herself that she never knew she possessed. Only she has the power to destroy the evil that threatens to plunge the world into darkness. Her destiny is to confront the brutal crusade of the evil servants, foul spirits who thrive on the trapped life force of their murdered victims' souls. To save herself and these tortured innocents, Alyssa must unlock the mysteries surrounding the death of each soul. However, the legions of the dark world won't succumb easily. Alyssa must summon the sacred weapons necessary to banish these demonic creatures to the nightmare realms that spawned them before the clock tower strikes midnight. An excursion into terror. Summon your courage for the ultimate clash between good and evil. Battle a host of evil ghouls and terrifying spirits as you unlock your destiny. Use your strength to bring peace 
to a host of tormented souls. Well, that, that, that sells the game pretty well right there. Yes. Ah, nothing like having the actual case, a physical copy of a game right there. You get to read stuff like that. I don't understand people who like their stuff digital or like to just download games or burn games. I like to have the actual case. Because of stuff like that, but yeah. Let's check out the options real quick. Let's see what we got here. Alright, configure. The controls are beyond here. I don't remember the controls from when I played briefly. Search. Duck, walk, attack, view, uh, pretty sure I can get that as I go. Ooh, subtitles. No, 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 let's turn those off. Although, it's probably more aesthetically pleasing to have the subtitles up there, considering, you know, I don't know. Maybe some things might be hard to hear, but I want a totally cinematic experience. I never like subtitles on. Let's see what else we got here. Sound, I don't think I need to mess with that. Screen monitor, yeah. No, nothing about difficulty, all right. Fair enough, well. Yeah, I actually own, because this is Clock Tower 3. I actually own Clock Tower 1 and 2. But those are point and click adventures though, and I, I vow to not play them until I get a PlayStation mouse, and I don't see that happening anytime soon. Plus, you know, point and click adventures, and uh, I actually got those from the Goodwill. The Goodwill has been very good to me with the Clock Tower games. I got all three from the Goodwill. I mean, if you know anything about Clock Tower 1 and 2, you know they go for some money on eBay, so maybe someday I'll do an LP of those, but Clock Tower 3 is a totally different game. It's a it's like a third-person type of game. Survival horror. Well, 1 and 2 are point and clicks, so we're going to have some fun with this. I don't know what to expect. This is 100, 110% blind, so uh, join me for this, uh, for, for the freaks chills and scares on this murderous, merciless, mischievous adventure in Clock Tower 3. <sighs> Let's uh, jump in. Yeah, the mood of this game is already batting 100 for me. I'm really enjoying what I'm seeing so far. So far, so good. Let's... Uh -oh. Dearest Alyssa, how have you been? I think of you every day. It seems such a long time since you started your life at boarding school. It was after your beloved grandfather went missing while traveling three years ago that I sent you away to boarding school and told you not to come back for at least six years without giving you any explanation. It must have been very painful for you and I'm sorry, but it was for your own protection. Now, your 15th birthday is approaching, and I fear your life may be in danger more than ever before. Please, go into hiding until your 15th birthday has passed. I know that what I am saying will make no sense to you, but please, do as I tell you and hide as quickly as you can. Your loving mother, Nancy. Mum. Alyssa! You're wanted on the telephone. It's your mother. Hello? Mum? Hello? Are you there? What's wrong? Answer me. Hello? Hello? Mum? Hello? Mum? Mum? Answer me! <laughs> Mum? I'm back! Excuse me, are you one of the lodgers? Yes, I am. F that. Oh, I'm Alyssa, Nancy's daughter. Um, do you know where my mother is? Your mother has gone out. That was early yesterday morning. Huh? 
She mentioned that she would not be coming back for some time. What? She was wrong. She won't be coming back at all. So it's just you. You are all alone in this world now, little girl. <laughs> My sweet Alyssa. I've been waiting so long for this moment. Get away from me! <laughs> oh my god. If that wasn't the beginnings of rape, what happened to her bags? Alright, well, on that note, let's get out of here. Damn, these controls. Let's just... Let's just leave. Oh, there's no need to go now. I have to find mum. <laughs> First of all, her accent does not match her face. She looks Asian. And second of all, I would be gone. That, that must be a cruel joke. There's no need to go. I have to find mum. Wow, this is bullshit. Um, well, you're, you're lucky your virginity is still intact. Because that guy could have so totally raped. There must be a way to walk. Uh, there we go. It's like backwards. In a typical Resident Evil game, you would hold square in a direction to run. But this time around... You hold square to pace yourself to walk. Uh, uh, uh. She is hot though, even though she doesn't look like her accent. All right. Oh yeah, that's that's awesome. They just recycled sound effects from from the Resident Evil games, uh, the GameCube ones, remake at zero. Yes, I recognize those sound effects. That is awesome. All right, well, where to begin? Um. Her bags mysteriously vanished. Yeah, all right, that's, that's to run, that's to walk, to crouch down. That is that is pretty erotic right there. Oh, oh my goodness. I guess. Okay, there, there's a crawling ability. She can crawl. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have so many jokes for this throughout this whole LP. I can already tell. All right. And what else can she do? That's that seems to be it. How do you bring up this subscreen? <sighs> okay, guest wing, first floor, items, files, key items, options. Interesting. Select button for the map. Okay, that's that's the typical options that were on the main menu. Uh do we have any key items on us? Nope, we sure do don't. Alright, how do you go back? Triangle goes back. Okay, files, documents window, view all documents collected. Do we have any documents? Any photos? Anything? No, no journals, no nothing. Alright, well, there's not much to the sub menu yet. But I'm pretty sure we'll fill it up. Oh, they got the time we've been playing for right there. That's, that's the first. Yeah, I'm definitely getting a Resident Evil vibe. Between the sound effects and the overall atmosphere and the way things look in the sub menu, this is definitely Resident Evil inspired. All right, well, does it seem like there's anything? How do you check stuff? Okay, let's see. It's the chair that strange gentleman was sitting in. Should I should I try to use like an English accent for her? Nah, I'll, I'll probably get sick and tired of uh using that. Let's see what we got here. Oh, nothing. All right. Anything to say about this fire? The light from the fire casts a reddish glow. Very observant of you. Anything to say about this clock? If I can face it. The clock keeps perfect time. What does that mean? You have a watch on you, it's like, uh, you can tell that it's keeping time perfectly? I don't understand. Alright, well. I don't know why we're staying in this house, but we are. Uh, this is glowing. This must be of some use. A diary lies open with an incomplete entry. You can save game data. Okay, so we save game data with diaries. Fair enough. I haven't done anything yet, so no need to save. Yeah, just... That, I wonder how that crawling ability is going to come into play in this game. Aside from turning me on, I wonder what's the what's the purpose and usefulness of it. A strange pattern adorns the jar. It is brimming with fresh water. Okay. I wonder what that means. There's another room on the other side. 
Nothing there, nothing right there. Oh, there's a door over here. There's plenty of doors, plenty of places to go. Where should I go first? Alright. This 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 main hall looks a lot like the main hall in Resident Evil 1. Nothing of interest here. It's a door. What do you mean? Is it locked or you just the door doesn't what do you want? The door to be like painted like pink and green or something for you to think it has interest for you to go through it? That's a that's an odd response for a door. Oh, jeez. When the camera angles change, your, your your orientation of the character and the direction you want to go changes. I don't like that. Oh, shit. Alright, let's take it slow. Take it slow, honey. Okay. Yeah, I could tell this game. I wonder how many jump scares this game could game has it could have all it's filled with the, it's filled with art and antiques grandfather used to collect that kind of thing so this must be her house I guess she's a big ass creepy house it's a wonder she's so normal after growing up in a house like this I'd be like so disturbed and like just I don't know I'd be a major loner although she was alone at the beginning of that I mean the cutscenes in this game are, are, are pretty nice looking I must say that grandfather's room he's not here now it's been three years since he left when is he coming back? Damn. When is he... You guys don't have telephones? Talk about not keeping in touch. This is before Facebook and all that stuff, I guess. Whatever. Oh, see, that's the, that's a typical response I'd expect from a door that we can't go into. Is it's locked? What do you, how do you know... A, uh, how do you know a door is of no interest? All guest rooms from this point forth. Everyone's, everyone's out? What? All guest rooms from this point forth. Everyone's out. What? Uh, I guess... I guess that's a guest room area? I don't know. This game looks like it could possibly be really, really lost in translation. Well, it looks like we have no choice but to go upstairs, which I'm not looking forward to. Oh, we don't have to push a button to go upstairs. We can just go. That's awesome. Alright. Um. Oh, boy. Where do we start? Alright, let's just go to the door that's presented to us first. Because if I know developers, they want you to go into the first door you see, at least. Uh, I'm loving the atmosphere, though. It's pretty nice. Although I do feel very vulnerable, because I'm what looks to be a private school, high school student with a very short mini skirt on, and I don't look like I could put up. I don't look like I could put up much of a fight. Okay, I'm not fucking with that. Um. I wonder how combat works. Okay, what does that say? I can't read it. Well, seeing as that's the first door, we'll check this fireplace first. Come on. A fire burns in the... In the what? Hearth? He... Oh, I've never seen that word before. Must be some type of fireplace lingo. Alright, there's nothing much to say about anything. You can't really do much investigating, and that's where I came in from. Alright, let's try this door out. Oh shit, this is my room. Man, should we save this for like last or something? Because you know some shit's gonna go down in there because it's, it's, it's her room. You know, they want to make you feel like, you know, it's safe. Let's just see what's on the other end of this hallway. Hopefully I don't trigger anything. Damn, should I go for my room or this room? we will go for this room. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. It's locked. The lodgers won't be coming back for a while. So I'm assuming this is some type of boarding room? I mean, boarding house or something? All right, whatever. <sighs> All right. Now this room looks really cozy and quaint. Okay, there's got to be tons of stuff to say in here. My room, nothing's changed. The desk is nice and tidy. Worn books stand neatly in line. Her bed looks really gloomy. This is actually, now that I'm looking at it, this room is kind of spooky. So much for being cold. Look at this shit. If something's not going to break through that window, then they missed a perfect opportunity to scare the shit out of me. Because that, that just looks like a set piece right there. Like, just BAM! And just get merciless, like mercilessly attacked. I can see it already. 